In this video, we're going to be fulfilling e-commerce orders. Every once in a while, I like to fulfill orders myself so I can make a video and show you what goes on behind the scenes when fulfilling orders. If you look at this order here, customer ordered the Sunshine Multimeter, three tweezers, bent straight, and a thick straight, two Kimtech wipes, and two training boards. This one here you can assemble and test after you're done with the soldering. And this one here, you can practice on your SMD soldering, tiny components, bigger components, and just an amazing sets of training boards to practice on. So we have how many items? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We always count to make sure that we are not missing anything for the customer. And I bend the papers on top because Viewers always complain if a phone number showed by mistake or a name showed by mistake. I do not try to show names on purpose, but sometimes I'm moving around orders and a name is shown. Not a big deal. So I just bent those papers. This guy here ordered low melt solder, Braidwick, and Amtag 559 Flux. Three items. One, two, and three. This one here, the first order is priority mail. Flat rate, $11.95. We need to increase our shipping costs because priority mail increased in price. We are paying more. This one here is first class mail, $6.95. Who ships stuff for $6.95? I'm not talking about Amazon. I'm talking about small businesses. We have one order here for Amtec Flux, Amtec 559. This order here, we have soldering iron tip holder, bent precision tweezer from best, straight precision tweezer from best, blade number four, looks something like this. We have mechanic king tweezers, and we also have the sunshine, a very popular item in our shop, the sunshine multimeter. Then if we look down here, we have the Northridge Fix board holder with five strong magnets for weird shaped motherboards. I went over this in the past. The Northridge Fix dual sided brush. That's my number one tool on the bench. And we have Xbox Series X HDMI connector and we have bent pliers. Four items, right? Or five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, good. And then we have this order here, customer ordered the Aten Hot Air Station, solder paste, and Braidwick. We're going to put this inside another box, we do not ship it like this. And we have a very big order that Big Boss will fulfill. There's nothing that he did not order for the most part. Everything from the microscope, articulating arm, hot air station, soldering station, thermal camera. Okay, so we have the total 4115. And I can guarantee you 100% that it will cost us more to ship this package than what we charged him $39. Those items are about probably like 70, 80 pounds. And there's no way that it will cost $39 to ship all those items. But that's what we charge for a flat rate. So let's go ahead and fulfill those orders. I do not want to do more so we do not make the video any longer. Now, I do not do this every day myself. So I do not know the box size that we need for this Atin station. If we measure it, we have around seven and a half by 13 and a half by 11 and a half i do not know what box we should use for this one but we have our box room here and we can look we have 12 by 12 by 8 it's not gonna fit We have 14 by 11 
by six. That's not gonna work. And maybe this one will work. So depth is good. And 15, I think this one will work. Yeah, this one should work. And now we have a gap left in the box. What I do is I go to one of those two machines. We have pillows and we have the bubble cushion wrap. Let's do pillows. I mean, I can just steer this from here. I do not need to create anything new right there. Okay, so that's enough. Maybe we can do this. I have my phone on a tripod. And I'm not set up to record here. So everything is done on my phone. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Make sure we have two Kintac wipes, tweezer, 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 sunshine multimeter, two micro soldering boards. And what we're gonna do for the customer is smiley face right here. Let me put this inside the box and we can create a shipping label in a moment. Let's package this one. And see if the box I picked is good. So let's do 21. What I do is I take into consideration the length of the box and I add about three inches on each side. So if we have 12, I add three and three, that's 18. Right, so it looks something like this, and let's see if this will fit. Look at this, fit is perfect. Look at this. Grab some pillows. I'm good at this. I'm really good at this, fulfilling orders. It's a fun job. I wish I could do this all day. Okay, so let's put this on the side. I'm gonna weigh the packages, create chip and labels. And the rest should be easy because we can just use regular envelopes. Like this one is a first class, Flux is first class. So we grab the first class envelope, Flux. And Amtec 559 Flux, this is original in Amtec 559 comes with two needles goes right inside first class envelope and I do not want to close it yet and also let's put a smiley face for the customer right here okay what more do you want Priority mail, we use the post office flat rate padded envelope. Put a smiley face for the customer as well. Right here. Orders came in today and orders will ship out today. I always mention that we ship same day. Now, two Kimtech wipes and multimeter will not fit in a flat rate padded envelope. Priority mail, so we have to put it in a box. I grab the box from the side and this one is nine by nine by six. So I need to cut tape for the box. Let's do 12 and that's gum tape. The tape is wired. The tape is not gonna break. And the tape is actually hot. We have water here, water heats up. It gets to the gum tape and the tape becomes molded with the package. The best way to ship. 
So we have a multimeter, Chemtech wipes, Chemtech wipes, you see, look at the box. Customer ordered, I believe, almost everything. I did not check, but I know he ordered a microscope, enough short, anti glare lights, soldering station, hot air station, the probes. Big Boss is the one who packaged this box and he went over the items a couple of times to make sure that everything is inside the box. Now, we charge the customer a flat rate shipping of $39.95. If you look here, the shipping is going to cost us $98 and that's with UPS ground. If we check other services, let's go to post office. Post office is $170 for parcel select, not even priority mail. If you look at priority mail, $204. FedEx is also a lot of money, $209. Actually, yeah, no, that's UPS. Go to FedEx. FedEx is always the most expensive. UPS, $98. Right now, we're going to pay the difference from our pocket. We're going to eat the cost. The customer placed a big order, and we do not want to ask the customer to pay the extra difference for shipping. The package is going out today. Customer placed the order today, and I always mention, we almost always ship out same day. So order came in this morning, and it's leaving today around three o'clock.